Today, we're taking a look at one of the biggest idiots of the year. I mean, this guy is so dense that he thought that randomly assaulting people in the park flies as a prank on the internet. But not only did he show up and punch a bunch of random people in the back of the head, no, he had his friend film him do all of this. And then the geniuses went home and uploaded this evidence to the internet. So naturally it went viral on TikTok. I didn't expect him to do that. That's crazy. Shocking video of attacks yesterday at Wortham Park in Northwest Harris County. That's not cool to just come up to someone and just like, you know, punch them in the head for like no reason. Like, come on now. What is usually a quiet green space for recreation. I just love the scenery. I just love that it's peaceful out here. Was a place where two unsuspecting park goers were ambushed. I just think it's, it's terrible. Not only were the two innocent victims targeted in separate attacks, but the assaults were recorded and posted on social media. I mean, these people are breaking records for how stupid you can be. I mean, at least in 2023, the trash has taken itself out by self-reporting and getting themselves arrested. Because I mean, hey, this would have been a whole lot harder to prove this happened if they didn't document this and upload it to TikTok themselves. Well, he's regretful. Honestly, I didn't expect him to answer the door, much less come out and talk. But tonight he says he regrets the behavior so many are now condemning online. Not far from peaceful Wortham Park, where he's accused of randomly punching strangers. Do you regret it? Yes, yes, I do. 19-year-old Alfred Lewis spoke with me about how he feels about it now. You know, I just made a mistake and everybody makes mistakes. Dude, that is not a mistake. That's felony assault. How garbage of a human being do you have to be to assault someone for some basic level attention on the internet? Again, it's just a whole new level of stupidity because clearly he doesn't value anyone's life, including his own. Why do that to anyone? But also why do that to yourself? Like if you're going to be selfish, why would you do that to yourself? From what I've read, I mean, at least everyone who was punched was okay at the end of it. Probably traumatized from this, but but thankfully okay, because this could have easily been a disaster. Because I mean, worst case, this could have been fatal. He could have KO'd them, punching them from the back of the head, and they could have just fallen on that concrete without being able to brace themselves at all. I know like from the video, all you see is like the bad part about it, but um, what people didn't see was that I shook his hand after and how I had gave the man a hug. This is absolutely disgusting behavior, and especially to find out that this is for internet attention? Really? I don't even know if I believe him. Because who just shakes hands and hugs a person after they were assaulted by them? Randomly, like unprovoked, like <laughs> it doesn't make sense. But also, that doesn't make up for anything. The whole altercation is the bad part. They didn't just show the bad, no, that was the bad part. I really didn't expect for it to just go so left, you know? I told Lewis that law enforcement is investigating the incident, something his mother and father were also aware of. And your mom's probably disappointed. Yeah, she is. Lewis said the harsh reaction to the video will make him rethink his behavior and hopefully be a lesson for others. Before you go out and you do anything that you feel is bad or that could look bad, make sure like people know or just don't do it at all profound. It's shocking he had to go through all that to figure that one out. But unfortunately for him, his comments just get dumber. To ABC 13, 19-year-old Alfred Lewis admitted he was the teen on video wreaking havoc. In a text, he wrote, quote, it was a prank. I had no problem with the man. I wasn't trying to hurt him. I was just hanging out with my friend and we did a TikTok. And so, yeah, I didn't mean it. Didn't mean to harm anybody. What did he mean by punching two people in the back of the head then? But again, to make things worse for himself, apparently he was armed as well. So he is just running around with a strap and punching random people unprovoked in Texas. The dude is so lucky to be breathing right now. In this case, he initially held the complainant at gunpoint. Then when the complainant refused to give up his cell phone, he hits the complainant in the head and puts him in a chokehold. The complainant advised he later saw videos of the crimes on social media. The defendant approached the complainant from behind and hit him in, in the head. As his co-defendant was filming the crime, the defendants laugh at the complainant when he asked um, this defendant, why are you doing this? The complainant advised he later saw videos of the crime on social media. <laughs> 
idiot. I, I can't believe this case. How are you that dense? Sometimes I'll get a video that I'm like, oh wow, okay, it doesn't get that much dumber, right? And then I'm proven so wrong by cases like this. But imagine you have something like this happen to you and then you see a video of it on social media later. I guess that makes it a whole lot easier to press charges. That's like the only upside to this. But this is what the judge originally gave him. His bond conditions include not having contact with his alleged accomplice the 18 year old who shot the videos Lewis also to remain at home between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. He will also wear an ankle monitor again his bond uh, combined bond for an assault and aggravated robbery charge ten thousand one hundred dollars ten thousand dollar bond sounds very low for that but they did correct that hey Sherman yeah this morning prosecutors asked the court to raise 19 year old uh, out for Lewis's initial ten thousand dollar bond to thirty thousand dollars and the judge agreed Take a look. KHOU 11 was the only news crew to get video of Lewis as he made his first official court appearance here in the 208th. Now, Lewis is charged with aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon, a first degree felony and assault. The teen is accused of attacking two men in separate incidents at Wortham Park in northwest Harris County last Thursday, while prosecutors say another teen filmed the attack on his phone. In one of the attacks, prosecutors say Lewis tried to rob the man of his cell phone at gunpoint and threatened to shoot him in the foot when he refused. They say Lewis then punched and choked the victim. Why are you filming yourself doing that? Robbery prank, but he actually robs someone while his friend is filming him. How stupid can you possibly be? I feel like a broken record right now, but this is just mind numbing. In the other attack, prosecutors say Lewis is seen on video punching a man in the back of the head, and both he and the, his partner laughed when the victim asked, why he was doing this before they ran away. The videos were later posted to social media and have since gone viral. Prosecutors telling us why they felt it was important to raise Lewis's bond today. And we take these cases extremely seriously at the district attorney's office. Good. I hope they throw the book at him. But what's incredibly worrying is his reasoning for all this. Now, on Friday, KJ11 talked to Lewis, who admitted he was the guy in the video sucker punching people and told us he made a mistake and that he did it to get likes and views on social media. Again, this is just so unbelievably wild to me. Like, I get some teenagers, they want attention on social media. But do they not care about what they get the attention for? Like, do they not worry about what they're known for? He he wanted to be known as the guy who randomly punched people at a family park? Yeah, I'm sure that'll set you up for a fulfilling life. But apparently there's now a warrant for the rest of the dude who filmed all this as well, so it seems like he's also being charged with the same charges. So, GG guys, you ruin your own life. Wild idea. How about we make society a better place rather than being a burden to it? I I'm still stuck on the part where he uh, robbed someone and filmed it and uploaded it to social media. It doesn't make sense. Was filming it some sort of weird excuse in case this robbery went wrong? So now they're just like, it was a prank. We didn't mean to actually rob them. It was it was a prank. But then they also uploaded it themselves to social media. I don't know. If there's anything I've learned from this job is uh, sometimes stupidity cannot be explained rational. But also just uh, heads up, I was in Hong Kong for about a week, hence why there hasn't been any uploads. Unfortunately, I went to the Board Ape Yacht Club Festival to cover it for you guys. In my eyes, they haven't been the same since. That's kind of a joke, but I, I definitely, for the first time ever, I felt sunburn inside of my eyes. And it feels really weird, so I had to take a couple days of just resting. The wildest thing about this is I wasn't really in the sun because of my horrible jet lag because I'm basically going 12 hours ahead of time when I'm traveling out to Hong Kong from the East Coast. So uh, for me to have sunburn and also pain inside of my eyes, like I've been staring at the sun, that was very interesting. But apparently it was all from the UV lighting they used because they apparently used the, the lights that are meant for cleaning and sanitary stuff rather than LED lights for like a stage or for, you know, a booth and so on. But I have an entire video dropping on that shortly. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.